And now on to our other big story tonight, a guilty verdict in a local murder trial. Christopher Banville will now spend the rest of his life behind bars for strangling his 17-year-old niece to death with a dog leash. The story was breaking on Eyewitness News at 6, and tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Joe Moran joins us with exclusive reaction from the family. Steve, tonight we are indeed learning more about that young life taken. We are told that Krista Luciano loved collecting Barbie dolls, and she had big, bright plans for her future. And she just was very a bubbly, bubbly kid that was always happy. An aunt remembers the beauty of a girl just five months away from graduation day. Krista Luciano would never experience that proud moment. Seeing him and with no remorse on his face or nothing. He just felt nothing. Barbara Luciano is talking about Christopher Banville, the family member, uncle, and now convicted murderer. It had to be harder to digest knowing that you at least knew this guy. You may not have known him well, but the family did. Yeah, it's hard to believe that her own uncle would hurt her. I never realized the meaning of the word hate. Krista's mom, Sheila Rigo, overflowing with emotion. Just moments before her daughter's killer is put away for life without parole. My heart goes out to her mother. Luciano sat in court just two days. The details of Krista's death in 2006, too much to take. There was the dog leash used to strangle her, the blood found all over Banville, and the DNA evidence under Krista's nails. Krista was a beautiful kid. As Luciano holds her own daughter's hand, a daughter just days away from her own prom and graduation, she thinks about life without Krista. You're never going to hear her call you on the phone ever again to tell you about her prom, about her marriage, her getting married, her having babies, nothing. You'll just never hear her voice again. Now, Banville did take the stand in his own defense, telling jurors that he found Krista's lifeless body and he tried to revive her. By the way, this verdict comes just two days before what would have been Krista's 20th birthday. We're live tonight with the Mobile Newsroom. I'm Joan Moran, Eyewitness News.